From Studio One in Riverside, Illinois, it's The Late Hour with Lorenzo Cordova. Tonight, Ryan and Kevin Mano. Larry Work. Let's start off talking to the Mano brothers right here. Hello. Q101 Radio DJs, Ryan, or Kevin and Ryan Mano. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're very much welcome, sirs. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, you are the younger brother. You're new to Q101, actually. Um, I'm new on air at Q101. I've been with Q101 for about four years. I was in the promotions department, and then I was the uh, producer of the morning show, The Morning Fix, uh, for about eight months. And now, just recently, I've joined the on-air staff as a full-time member. And Ryan, you have been <coughs> with Q101 for a longer amount of time. Mm -hmm. Where did you get your start on Q101? Was it with the man called Muller? No, I, it was, I had actually interned there uh, when I was in college. I did like a summer internship in the promotions department, mm -hmm. then um, parlayed that into a, a weekend shift. Uh, so you did then, the... Yeah, I was doing okay. weekends for a while, then did some overnight stuff, and then I met man Cow and joined up with him. Now man Cow, I know you can't talk about him that much, but <laughs> what can you say? Uh, I will say that it was a... In, it was an incredible experience working on a, such a, a big, massive syndicated show. I mean, on in, you know, 30 U.S. cities, L.A., Chicago, getting to travel and, you know, host. So your character was heard all over yeah. almost all the United States. Yeah, it was pretty neat. And being, you know, being uh, young, was it was kind of, you know, quite a thrill. I was on that show before I even graduated college. So I was, really? No, where did you go to college? Where did you study? We radio? both went, we both graduated from North Central College in Naperville. Uh, they have a great radio program, mm -hmm. great, like, hands-on. It's, it's a lot like what you guys do here for the radio, and uh, student-run, everything is, you know, is, is very student-run. and it's, it's A lot of people, actually, that work with us came from there. It's, uh, in the area, it's probably the best, mm -hmm. I would, one of the best. I don't want to yeah, put Yeah, no, it's down, probably the best. As far as broadcasting goes. Now, did you guys, did you guys uh, get to talk to a lot of big-name guests? Do you guys have a lot of influences that got you into radio? Because, you know, how did you get into radio? In the first um, place? Our uncle, uh, Dad's brother, has been a radio guy. He did some TV in his life, but he, uh, he was actually a pretty big, uh, pretty big radio guy when we were growing up in Cincinnati and Texas, all over the place. Philadelphia. Yeah. He did mornings, and I think that probably kind of lit the, the, the spark. There's and pictures of us as babies, you know, in front of microphones yeah. and radio really? stations. Yeah. And then, I mean, growing <laughs> up, we kind of, I mean, we would make, like, fake radio shows with tape recorders. and. So this has so been in your family. Yeah. yeah and, I, and I think, like, you know, when you hit that stage in high school where you figure out what kind of music you're really into, right. and you're, it's just like a passion for music, mm -hmm. and then you say, well, I'd like to do this, and I'd like to do that. How do I put them together? And, yeah. you know. 201 was the, uh, what's the way I to mean, go? I mean, yeah. It, was, it wasn't, certainly it was never a... Uh, it was never understood or, or believed. I would ne I never would have predicted that we would have ended up there because it was always you guys were always though. big alternative fans, right? You What's guys, that? You guys were always big. Alternative. Oh yeah, we, we grew up. We grew up listening to Q and had Q and One wrote not written on my uh, my notebook in school with whiteout, and, and I really probably had it on my backpack or yeah. something. I think yeah, I'm so. gonna I think I'm gonna end up there for some reason because well, you know, good. That's, yeah, we'd love to have you, Lorenzo. <laughs> now you guys, um, you have taken over a new a new spot in yeah. the afternoons. And uh, actually, I'd like to mention this. Uh, on our first show, Sherman from Q101 was right. here. And Joe Hu, Chicago's number one psychic, came here. And he predicted that Sherman... Sherman told me this. Did yeah. He told yeah. you that? Okay. He t he, uh, Joe Hu told Sherman that he would get promoted sometime between that show and the summertime. Mm -hmm. And that actually just happened, you know, because yeah. Sherman just got promoted. Well, Sherman and Tingle got promoted to... To the afternoons, and right. you got a promotion too from the night shift, was it? I, I'm, oh, that's I'm doing I'm doing nights now. I was doing you were uh, doing midnight. I too. was doing weekends, and and like I, they kind of created this job for me after the man cuffing ended called Q101's music correspondent, where it was like basically in my job description to attend concerts and interview bands and get on stage before the, the shows and welcome you oh, know really? the audience. So that that was my job basically. That's, that's <laughs> no, that Ryan is had a, the best job. It was kind of like I, I always it. joked that it was a fake job, like. It was, so but how did you, who did you get to meet in that job? Because I mean, you Lorenzo, I promise you, na name ask, name it. Yeah. Okay. And Taking Back Sunday. Absolutely. Angels and Airways. A hundred Blink One Eighty Two. Yes. Did, really? Uh, yes. Before they Countless broke times. up. Countless times. Yes. Wow. All three of them. I, I taped a, uh, a, a. I hosted this MTV Canada special with them at the House of Blues. I taped with all three of the guys one afternoon. Uh, really? Yeah. Before, with, before right before Blink broke up. Now you, you know, you're younger, but um, what have you what have you been doing on Q101? Because you just got you just got a kind of a promotion yourself, right? From you know just being the occasional weekend guy into the uh, midnight to I'm five o'clock. Yeah. yeah, 
Yes. Uh, I still do weekends, and uh, I do week nights from midnight to 5.30 up until the morning fix starts. Uh, and, I mean, I could not be happier, honestly. I, I'm where Ryan was when he started, just young, and I can't believe that uh, I've ended up here. We've both ended up here. So Now, who scripts your shows? No script. No script. script. No, no script no. at all. Because you, you, have, you, you have, like, have a lot of segments, you know. Yeah. You have uh, the Crash Test Radio, right. Right. and well, Sherman has, you know, your request sucks. Right, all right, that. yeah. How do you come up with that stuff? Sometimes they just happen naturally, honestly. Like, I started doing this thing a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I was talking to somebody on the radio, and we, we were, it was a dumb question. It said, who would win in a fight between Tom Selleck and Tom from MySpace? Oh, okay. And people, <laughs> call, people called with an answer. I did, it was a rhetorical question. It wasn't even a question meant to get an answer. And, people, like, ten lines lit up, and they're like, hey, Tom Selleck would win because he has this cool mustache. <laughs> oh, my God. And other people are like, Tom from MySpace, he has 731 million friends. Like, uh, so... So then every night people are like, hey, who's going to be in the fight tonight? And it just sort of, sometimes things just happen naturally, you know, and I just, now I play a game called Who Would Win in a Fight. Really? Yeah. And you, Kevin, what segments are you developing on your show? Um, it's, I can't, nothing really right now. I, uh, like I mentioned, I've been the technical producer of The Morning Fix for a while, and I am still transitioning out of that. They're, they're trying to find a replacement for me. Oh, so you so still So it's going to be like a oh, week and a half a whole, before a strange, I begin yeah. the every night. He's in a strange thing. holding so position. <laughs> I've been in between for a while. I'm not doing the overnights right now. I, it's going to be a couple weeks before, oh, a okay. week and a half before they... Because I was, uh, was going to say, you're doing midnight to right. 10, 10 No, 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 no. no. I'm just you. doing the morning show right And when now. it starts, it's like, uh, what is that, 11 hours of you and I? Back right. Back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So our parents are very happy. Wow. <laughs> All right. We'll, uh, we'll come back with uh, Larry Wirt when we come back here on The Late Hour.